Good afternoon. This is All India Radio. I am Nishit Kumar and with me is Nina Arakal over the Midday News. The headlines. Prime Minister Narendra Modi inaugurates All India Institute of Medical Sciences Bilaspur in Himachal Pradesh. Elections will be held in Jammu and Kashmir with full transparency, says Home Minister Amit Shah. India registers decline in female infant mortality rate. Prime Minister lauds the collective commitments of 130 crore Indians to strengthen Nari Shakti. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh hails contribution of armed forces in ensuring security and economic progress of the nation perform Shastra Puja at Ali military station in Uttarakhand on the occasion of Vijay Dashmi. Vijay Dashmi is being celebrated across the country today. President, Vice President and Prime Minister greet people on the occasion. Center designates 10 members of Hezbollah Mujahideen and lashkar e toiba outfits as terrorists under the Unlawful Activities Prevention Act. South Korea and U.S. conduct missile drills in response to North Korea's launch of ballistic missile over Japan. And services continue to lead medal tally at the National Games with 39 goals. And now the news in detail. Prime Minister Narendra Modi today inaugurated the All India Institute of Medical Sciences Ames Bilaspur in Himachal Pradesh. The Ames Bilaspur whose foundational stone was also laid by the Prime Minister in October 2017, has been established under the Central Sector Scheme Pradhan Mantri Swastya Suraksha Yojana. Speaking on the occasion, Mr. Modi said that development projects inaugurated on the occasion of Vijay Dashmi 2022 will play an important role in achieving the vision of a developed India. If अगर टनल बना है तो आपके एक वोट की ताकत है हाइड्रो इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज बना है तो ये आपके वोट की ताकत है अगर मेडिकल डिवाइस पार्क बन रहा है तो ये भी आपके वोट की ताकत है और इसलिए आज मैं हिमाचल की अपेक्षाओं को ध्यान में रखते हुए एक के बाद एक विकास के काम कर रहा हूं ही सेड बिलासपुर हैज गॉट द डबल गिफ्ट ऑफ एजुकेशन एंड मेडिकल फैसिलिटीज Mr. Modi said in the last eight years, the government worked on ensuring development benefits reach the remotest parts of the country. Mr. Modi highlighted Ames Bilaspur will not only increase access to affordable health care in Himachal, but is also eco-friendly and will be known as Green Ames. If tunnel, Hydro Engineering College is made, so it is your vote. If there is a medical device park, so it is also your vote. And that's why today I am keeping the attention of Himachal to keep the attention of Himachal. After a while, I am doing a job of work. Ames Bilaspur, constructed at a cost of more than 1,470 crore, is a state-of-the-art hospital with 18 speciality and 17 super-speciality departments, 18 modular operation theatres and 750 beds with 64 ICU beds. Our correspondent reports that Ames Bilaspur is spread over 247 acres and the hospital is equipped with 24 hours emergency and dialysis facilities, modern diagnostic machines, Jan Oshidi Kendra and a 30-bedded Ayush block. Chief Minister Jairam Thakur expressed his gratitude to Prime Minister for giving an aims to Himachal Pradesh. BJP President J.P. Nadda highlighted Prime Minister's working to uplift the nation in every sphere. Information and Broadcasting Minister Anurag Singh Thakur highlighted the initiatives undertaken by the Union Government in last year's. पिछले आठ वर्षों में आपने आपकी सरकार ने 12 करोड़ शौचालय हो, 3 करोड़ से ज्यादा पक्के मकान हो, 11 करोड़ से ज्यादा मुफ्त में रसोई गैस के सिलेंडर का कनेक्शन हो, या 45 करोड़ जनधन खाते हो, हर घर हर गांव को बिजली देने की बात हो, या हर घर को नल नल से स्वच्छ जल देने का भी काम प्रधान Home Minister Amit Shah today said that elections will be held in Jammu and Kashmir with full transparency. Addressing a public rally in Baramulla, Jammu and Kashmir, Mr. Shah said 
As soon as the work of compiling the voters list is completed, the elections will be held. He said, Prime Minister Modi's model of governance brings development and employment. Mr. Sa said, for the last 70 years, the regime that were in power in the state did not provide housing for the one lakh homeless people. He said, PM Modi gave homes to these one lakh people between 2014 to 2022. Mr. Sa said, earlier, Jammu and Kashmir was a terrorist hotspot and now it's a tourism hotspot. He highlighted increasing tourism in Jammu and Kashmir has given employment to a number of youths. और मोदी जी ने ये तीन साल में छप्पन हजार करोड़ का इन्वेस्टमेंट आज जम्मू कश्मीर में आने का पहले ये टेररिस्ट हॉटस्पॉट था आज टूरिस्ट हॉटस्पॉट इतना कश्मीर में घाटी में सबसे ज्यादा साल के छह लाख सैलानी आया करते थे आज मैं यहाँ पर अक्टूबर में आया हूँ जोर से ताली बजाइएगा पहले छह लाख आते थे Amid high security arrangements, thousands of people from Kupwara, Bandipura and other parts of the Kashmir Valley thronged the rally at Shaukat Ali Stadium. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has lauded the collective commitments of 130 crore Indians to strengthen Nari Shakti in the country. India has registered decline in family female infant mortality rate. The country's female infant mortality rate, IMR, dropped to same level as males. However, in 16 states, IMR remained higher for female babies than male, but the gap had reduced since 2011. According to Sample Registration System Statistical Report 2020, Chhattisgarh had the highest gap in 2020 with a male infant mortality rate of 35 compared to female infant mortality rate of 41. Women and Child Development Minister Smriti Irani has said that efforts made towards Beti Bachao Beti Padhao through an integrated approach encompassing advocacy, health care and education is breaking the gender bias and resulting in improved numbers across all parameters, infant mortality rate is the number of infant deaths for every 1,000 live births. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh today stressed, India believes in the principle that whole world is one family, but gives a befitting response if any outsider casts an evil eye. Mr. Singh said this while celebrating Vijay Dashmi, performing Shastra Puja with Jawans of Armed Forces and ITBP personnel at Oli Military Station in Chamoli, Uttarakhand. यह देश आपको भारत की जो सर्वोच्च विधियां हैं उनमें एक बहुत ही महत्वपूर्ण विधि है इस चीज को मानता है तो हमारे भारत की सेना के जवानों को मानता है गलवान में जो कुछ भी हुआ हमारे सेना के जवानों ने जो करिश्मा दिखाया कि आपने पासा पलट दिया है मैं आप सबको अपनी तरफ से बधाई देना चाहता हूं जहां तक भारत के चरित्र का प्रश्न है भारत ने आज तक न तो दुनिया के किसी देश पर कभी आक्रमण किया है और न दुनिया के किसी देश की एक इंच जमीन पर कभी भारत ने कब्जा किया लेकिन यह बात भी सच है Defence Minister Rajnath Singh today stressed India believes in the principle that whole world is one family. He said the whole world acknowledged India's growing stature and India has emerged as one of the key decision makers on all issues of international importance. Mr. Singh said India is heard with respect in international fora. The minister reaffirmed that the entire nation has pride and faith in the capabilities of Jawans and their contribution towards safeguarding the country. Mr. Singh applauded the role of the forces in securing the nation against external threats. He said, this secure environment has enabled India to pursue economic development and achieve new heights of progress. He also hailed the unparalleled bravery and courage of Jawans during the incident in Galwan. Army Chief General Manoj Pandey was also present on the occasion. RSS Chief Mohan Bhagwat has stressed on the need to empower women with freedom of making their own decisions. Delivering his annual speech on the occasion of the Shahar at Nagpur, he said to unite the society, unity between men and women is essential. He highlighted this partnership is vital for society's growth. 
संपूर्ण समाज का संगठन करना है तो संख्या की दृष्टि से आधा भाग हमारे समाज का मातृशक्ति का है उसकी उपेक्षा नहीं की जा सकती उनको भी सशक्त करना पड़ेगा हमारे यहाँ उनको माता मानते हैं वत्सलता उनका गुण है जगत जननी के रूप में उनकी कल्पना करते हैं एक तो उनको जगत जननी मान के पूजा घर में बंद करते हैं अथवा द्वितीय दर्जे का मानकर घर में बंद करके रख देते ये दोनों अतिवादिताओं को छोड़कर मातृशक्ति को सशक्त बनाना प्रबुद्ध बनाना उनको बराबरी के अधिकार से सार्वजनिक कार्यो में परिवार के कार्यो में सर्वत्र निर्णय की स्वतंत्रता और निर्णय में बराबरी की साझेदारी देते हुए सक्रिय करना इसकी आवश्यकता है He said, "Population requires resources, and if it grows without building resources, it becomes a burden." Mr. Bhagwat, however, said there is another view in which population is considered an asset, and the need to work on a population policy for all, keeping both aspects in mind. He said, "Yoga and exercises should be practiced, and personal hygiene and social wellness habits should be developed." Mr. Bhagwat advocated that the policy should be made to promote education in the mother tongue. अब नई शिक्षा नीति आई उसके तहत उच्च शिक्षा तक धीरे धीरे मातृभाषाओं का आगमन हो रहा है आगे चल के लागू हो जाएगा पुस्तकें भी तैयार हो जाएगी पढ़ाने वाले भी तैयार हो जाएंगे लेकिन क्या हम अपने बच्चों को मातृभाषा माध्यम में पढ़ाने के लिए भेजते हैं He hailed the new national education policy, which is intended to ensure that students become good human beings, patriots, and cultured citizens. Union Minister Nitin Gadkari, Maharashtra Deputy Chief Minister Devendra Fadnavis were present on the occasion. Ms. Santosh Yadav, the first woman to climb Mount Everest, was the chief guest for the event. The festival of Vijay Dashmi or the Shera is being celebrated across the country today. The festival is celebrated to remember Lord Ram's victory over Ravan, marking the triumph of good over evil. The day also marks the culmination of Navratri and Durga Puja. President Draupadi Murmu, Prime Minister Narendra Modi, and Vice President Jagdeep Dhankar have greeted people on the occasion of the Shera. In her message, Ms. Murmu said, "The festival of Vijay Dashmi is celebrated all over India as a symbol of victory of good over evil, truth over untruth, morality over immorality." reality in a tweet mr modi said may this auspicious occasion bring courage restraint and positive energy in everyone's life the festival of the shera is being celebrated in the national capital with great enthusiasm in the evening the programs of burning of effigies of demon king ravan his brother kumbhakaran and meghnath have been organized in at various places Our correspondent reports that this time effigies will be burnt without use of firecrackers. Delhi government has imposed a blanket ban on the sale and use of all types of firecrackers till 1st of January next year to curb air pollution. In view of it, several Ram Leela committees have decided not to use firecrackers to burn, but they will use sound effects which will give the same feel. Apart from sound effects, some committees will also use some special light techniques. which will make the effigy burning look more real Kerala is in a festive mood as Vijay Dashmi is being celebrated today we have more from our correspondent Keralaites across the globe celebrate Vijay Dashmi as the Vidyarambham day the auspicious day for beginning learning in any field thousands of children are being initiated into the world of knowledge today as part of the tradition of Vidyarambham in major temples social and religious institutions they are made to write the letters on plates of rice or sand by elders or prominent people kids are also initiated into various art forms today the auspicious day of goddess saraswati heavy rush is being witnessed from early morning in major temples like panichikada dakshina mugambika temple and institutions like tunjan paramba payusha for ar news from tiruvananthapuram the sunday mysuru dashara festival will conclude today on the vijay dashmi day with a grand jumbo savari procession We have more from our correspondent. Chief Minister Basavaraj Bombay will offer puja to Nandi Dhaja, the divine pole, in the afternoon. 21 cannon shots will be fired. The procession, led by police band, cultural troops, folk artists, and singers, tabloid, decorated camels, horses, and caparisoned elephants, starts from the palace, where the Chief Minister will offer prayers and shower petals on Goddess Chamundeshwari idol in the evening. The idol of Goddess is kept in a golden howdah weighing over 750 kgs on top of elephant Abhimanyu. The Mysore kings use 
used to sit in the howda earlier. When the procession culminates in Banni Mantap, puja is offered to the Banni tree, after which torchlight parade, fireworks and laser show will give the grand farewell to Vijayadashmi festival in Mysuru tonight. Sudhindra, AIR News, Bengaluru. Festival of Dashera or Vijay Dashmi is being celebrated with full traditional fervor all over Maharashtra. Various traditional processions were organized in parts of the state. Dashera is also known for rallies of political parties in the state. In Mumbai, both factions of Shiv Sena have organized Dusra Melava. Udhav Thakra led faction will organize its rally at Shivaji Park in Dadar, while Lake Shinde led faction is organizing its rally at MMRDA ground in Bandra Kurla complex. Thousands of followers from various parts of the state are gathering at both the grounds. Massive police are deployed to maintain law and order situation. The center has designated 10 members of Hezbollah Mujahideen Mujahideen Lakshire Taiba outfits as terrorists under the Unlawful Activities Prevention Act, UAPA, for their role in terror activities. Union Home Ministry has issued notifications designating them as terrorists who are currently staying in Pakistan. Among them, five are associated with Hijbul Mujahideen, two with Harike ul Mujahideen, and one each with Lakshire Taiba, Jammu and Kashmir Islamic Front, and Harkat ul Jihad Islami. You are listening to the Midday News on All India Radio. A reminder of the headlines before we move on. Prime Minister Narendra Modi inaugurates All India Institute of Medical Sciences Bilaspur in Himachal Pradesh. Elections will be held in Jammu and Kashmir with full transparency, says Home Minister Amit Shah. India registers decline in female infant mortality rate. Prime Minister lauds the collective commitments of 130 crore Indians to strengthen Nari Shakti. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh hails contribution of armed forces in ensuring security and economic progress of the nation. Performs Shastra Puja at Auli Military Station in Uttarakhand on the occasion of Vijay Dashmi. Vijay Dashmi is being celebrated across the country today. President, Vice President and Prime Minister greet people on the occasion. Center designates 10 members of Hezbollah Mujahideen and Lakshare Taiba outfits as terrorists under Unlawful Activities Prevention Act. South Korea and U.S. conduct missile drills in response to North Korea's launch of ballistic missile over Japan. Services continue to lead medal tally at national games with 39 goals. For quick news updates, round the clock, follow us on our Twitter handle at AIR News Alerts. अगर आप प्रतियोगी परीक्षाओं की तैयारी कर रहे हैं, तो AIR का प्रोग्राम अभ्यास है सिर्फ आपके लिए। इस बार का विषय है साइकोलॉजी और इस विषय पर आप अपने सवाल हमें व्हाट्सएप करें 9289094044 पर या ईमेल करें abhyas.airnews@gmail.com पर आपके सवाल हमें मिल जाने चाहिए अक्टूबर 5 तक आपका अभ्यास हमारा प्रयास वेलकम बैक यू आर ट्यून्ड टू द मिड न्यूज़ ऑन ऑल इंडिया रेडियो Telangana Rashtra Samiti TRS Supremo and Telangana Chief Minister K. Chandrasekhar Rao has announced that the party will be Bharat Rashtra Samiti BRS now onwards. The TRS general body has resolved to change the name of the party to Bharat Rashtra Samiti at a meeting held at the party headquarters in Hyderabad a short while ago. He also said accordingly the party will take up activities nationwide. Party constitution also has been changed to this effect. All key leaders of the TRS and JDS leader H.D. Kumaraswamy along with 20 MLAs of his party and two MPs of Tamil Nadu's Vidu Talai Chiru Taigal Kachi VCK also attended the meeting. The change in the party's name will be formally enrolled with the Election Commission of India. An Indian Army Cheetah helicopter flying in the forward area near Tawang crashed today at around 10 a.m. during a routine sortie. The two pilots were evacuated to the nearest military hospital. One of the pilots, Lieutenant Colonel Saurav Yadav, who was critically injured, succumbed to the injuries during treatment. The second pilot is under medical treatment. An Army spokesperson said the cause of the crash at this stage is not known and details are being ascertained. The Ministerial Dialogue of U.S.-India Strategic Clean Energy Partnership, USISCEP, will be held on Friday. 
पेट्रोलियम एंड नेचुरल गैस मिनिस्टर हरदीप सिंह पुरी विल लीड बिजनेस डेलीगेशन टू वॉशिंगटन डीसी एंड ह्यूस्टन यूएसए मिस्टर पुरी विल आल्सो इंटरेक्ट विद वर्ल्ड बैंक ऑफिशियल्स ऑन क्लाइमेट रेजिलियंट अर्बन इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर द रीवैम्प्ड यूएसआईएससीईपी वाज लॉन्च्ड इन अकॉर्डेंस विद यूएस इंडिया क्लाइमेट एंड क्लीन एनर्जी एजेंडा 2030 पार्टनरशिप अनाउंस्ड बाय प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी एंड प्रेसिडेंट जो बाइडेन इन अप्रैल लास्ट ईयर The partnership continues to advance energy security and innovation and deploying technical solutions through five pillars. There are responsible oil and gas pillar, power and energy efficiency, renewable energy, sustainable growth and emerging fuels and technologies. In Mumbai, five people have died and eight injured in a road accident at Bandra Valley Sea Link. An ambulance and four vehicles collided with each other in the VRs today. A correspondent reports due to an accident of a car, ambulance reached for rescue of injured passengers. Other three cars collided with ambulance causing death of total five people. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has expressed grief over the loss of lives in the accident. He wished those injured to recover at the earliest. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has expressed grief over the loss of lives in a bus accident in Pori Garhwal, Uttarakhand. Mr Modi said rescue and operations are underway and all possible assistance will be provided to those affected. Prime Minister said in this tragic hour his thoughts are with the bereaved families he wished those injured to recover at the earliest. 25 people were killed in a road accident in Uttarakhand last night when a bus carrying a wedding party fell into a gorge. In Jammu and Kashmir four terrorists have been killed in two separate encounters with security forces in Shopian district a Lashkar-e-Toiba terrorist was killed at Mulu village of Shopian while three Jaish-e-Mohammed terrorists were killed in an overnight operation in Drach area of the district the operation in Mulu village was underway when reports last came in over the past 75 years since independence India's largest public service broadcaster All India Radio has been the proverbial storyteller for crowds of people across the country. All India Radio is celebrating 75 years of freedom with a series Azad Bharat ki baat Aakashwani ke saath. It showcases the journey of India since independence in various walks of life through the storytelling of All India Radio. In today's episode we bring you the story of cinema, journey of films in India. Cinema, the art of the 20th century came to India within few years of its invention. Father of Indian cinema, Dada Saheb Phalke, released the first ever full-length feature film, Raja Harish Chandra, in 1913. The rest is history. The first ever talkie, Alamara, was made by Ardeshir Irani in 1931. <laughs> इंडियन मसाला फिल्म अ टर्म यूज फॉर मिक्सड जॉनर फिल्म दैट कम्बाइन सॉन्ग डांस रोमांस अ रोज फॉलोइंग वर्ल्ड वॉर द सेकेंड ज्वाइंग द नाइनटीन फोर्टीज South India accounted for nearly half of India's cinema halls and cinema came to be viewed as an instrument of cultural revival. The real growth of Indian cinema began after independence. Government established Films Division by 1948, which eventually became one of the world's largest documentary film producers with an annual production of over 200 short documentaries, each released in 18 languages with 9000 prints for permanent film theaters across the country. India became the largest producer of feature films in the world. By 2019 the country had 6327 single screens and 3200 multiplex screens. Indian cinema is composed of various language film industries. 
In 2021, Hindi produced 495 films, followed by Kannada 336, Telugu 281, Tamil 254, Malayalam 219, Bengali 193, Marathi 164, Bhojpuri 101. Gujarati 80, Punjabi 63, Odia 42, and Assamese 34. Apart from these, 28 films were made in English, 16 in Tulu, 15 in Manipuri, and 11 in Nagamese. In tomorrow's episode, we will tell the story of Hindi film industry, also known as Bollywood. External Affairs Minister Dr S Jay Shankar will be on a week long visit to New Zealand and Australia from today. This will be Dr Jay Shankar's first visit to New Zealand. Tomorrow in Auckland he will participate in an event along with New Zealand Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern to felicitate members of the Indian community for their exceptional achievements and contributions. Both leaders will release India at 75 postage stamps to commemorate and showcase Azadi ka Amrit Mahotsav in New Zealand. Dr. Jay Shankar will launch the book Modi at 20 Dreams Meet Delivery, a book showcasing Prime Minister Narendra Modi's special bond with the Sikh community. Heartfelt The Legacy of Faith will also be released. In Wellington, Dr. Jay Shankar will inaugurate the newly constructed building of the High Commission of India. South Korea and the US military conducted missile drills in response to North Korea's launch of a ballistic missile over Japan. Nuclear armed North Korea test fired an intermediate range ballistic missile yesterday, further than even before, sending it soaring over Japan for the first time in 5 years. South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff said South Korean and American troops fired a volley of missiles into the sea in response. The White House National Security Council called North Korea's latest test dangerous and reckless. Bangladesh Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has called upon the people of Bangladesh not to hurt the religious sentiments of others and maintain communal harmony, exchanging greetings with members of the Hindu community at Dhakeshwari Temple through video conferencing on the occasion of Mahanavami Day of Durga Puja. She sought cooperation from all to maintain communal harmony in the country. She said her government is committed to uphold the secular and non-communal character of the country. At the 36th National Games, services continue to dominate medals tally with 86 medals including 39 gold, 24 silvers and 23 bronze followed by Haryana with 65 medals including 24 gold, 22 silver and 19 bronze. Maharashtra is now in the third place with 20 gold medals, 17 silver and 35 bronze. Uttar Pradesh is now in the fourth place with 18 gold medals, 13 silver and 9 bronze medals. With the teams busy getting ready for the global T20 event, twice T20 champions West Indies are in Australia for a two-match series against the hosts beginning this afternoon. The two matches will be important for the Windies to prove their mettle as recent performances of the team have not been to the mark. Australia, which is in a much better shape than the guests, will still strive to put up a great performance in view of the upcoming T20 global event. And now let's have a look at the weather across the country today. The national capital Delhi will have done the storm with rain. Maximum minimum temperature was 26 and the maximum will be around 35 degrees. Mumbai with a maximum of 32 and a minimum of 26 degrees Celsius. Kolkata will have generally cloudy sky. Chennai will have thunderstorm. Srinagar will have mainly clear sky, becoming partly cloudy towards afternoon or evening. Muzaffarabad will also have mainly clear sky. Leh and Gilgit will have mainly clear sky. In South, Hyderabad and Bangalore will have generally cloudy sky with light rain. And now before we end the bulletin, the headlines once again. Prime Minister Narendra Modi inaugurates All India Institute of Medical Sciences Bilaspur in Himachal Pradesh. Elections will be held in Jammu and Kashmir with full transparency says the Home Minister Amit Shah. India registers decline in female infant mortality rate. Prime Minister lots the collective commitments of 130 crore Indians to strengthen Nari Shakti. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh hails contribution of armed forces in ensuring security and economic progress of the nation performed shastra puja at auli military station in uttarakhand on the occasion of vijay dashmi vijay dashmi is being celebrated across the country today president vice president and the prime minister greet people on the occasion center designates 10 members of hizbul mujahideen and lashkar-e-taiba outfits as terrorists under the unlawful activities prevention act 
South Korea and U.S. conduct missile drills in response to North Korea's launch of ballistic missiles over Japan. And services continue to lead medals tally at the National Games with 39 goals. And with that, we end the midday news.